Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton is back in New York State, gearing up for the April 19th primary. Today, she made a stop in Syracuse. If we make it easier to bring jobs back from America than it is to send jobs out of America. Today, the former senator from New York held a rally at the regional market. It ended about two hours ago. She also took part in a discussion with manufacturers, unveiling her plan to try to create more jobs in America. Right now, Megan Coleman was at the Clinton rally. She joined us at the regional market with what that appearance was all about. Megan. Well, Matt, an electrifying atmosphere here at the regional market today as Hillary Clinton made her way to Syracuse to rally supporters here in the Salt City. Uh, she is here just a, a, a short time away from the New York primary, which is now less than three weeks away. I will defend a woman's right to make her own health care decisions. The former Secretary of State and two-term New York Senator hoping to reconnect with voters here, reminding them about her connection to New York. Certainly this election season has been anything but predictable, with Clinton facing a more formidable challenge from Democrat Bernie Sanders than many had expected. Still, it appears Clinton has the edge. A new Quinnipiac poll just released this week shows Clinton with the home court advantage. Heading into the New York primary, topping Sanders 54 to 42 percent. Talking with voters here today, Clinton tried to separate herself from her Democratic opponent, indirectly referencing Sanders, saying she won't make promises she can't keep, and then directly challenging his plan to make college free, saying the devil is in the details and it just won't work. My opponent talks about free college, but you got to read the fine print. Anytime anybody tells you something is free, ask for the details. I'm not spending one penny to give a free college education to any of Donald Trump's kids or grandkids. Not going to do it. For New Yorkers, this is their first chance to vote in a presidential primary in a contested primary in 16 years. Fast forward to today, and New York really could still be in play here, with Clinton facing a strong challenge from Sanders and also the Republicans talking about a contested convention. Now, it was really a diverse crowd here today. Many Clinton supporters, of course, others undecided, and even some of the youngest ones here who aren't quite old enough to vote, but they are still getting in on the action. Thunderous applause from the crowd packed into the regional market today. Today, I'm thrilled to be back in Syracuse. Waiting for a glimpse of the Democratic presidential frontrunner as she made a campaign stop in Syracuse. I wanted to see the next president of the United States, Hillary Clinton. So you're really confident. Oh, yeah. yeah. Among the crowd of supporters, nine year old Kira Brady of Baldwinsville, who came here with her mom today. I think it's kind of cool because there's never been a woman president before. It's really, I'm so excited for her. I think it's great. I love that the faces that she sees as the first president she's familiar with are so different from. Um, my experience growing up, but I think it's great. Still deciding between Clinton and Bernie Sanders was Leland Whited of Syracuse. He brought his nine-year-old son Aiden to give him a taste of the democratic process. Because I wanted to know the importance of uh, participating in a democratic society. Our society doesn't work if people don't participate. So I want him to have that value. He's nine years old, so this is something he'll remember for the rest of his life. When supporting Clinton from head to toe, Michelle Cotery of Syracuse wouldn't miss this chance to see her in person. She's been closely watching the strong challenge by Bernie Sanders, but says Clinton is by far the most qualified. I think Bernie makes great points, and I think that they, he speaks to a lot of people that um, wouldn't necessarily vote. But I think it's experience and it's just uh, the relationships that Hillary's formed with, with leaders from all over the world that, that make me put my confidence in her. Now, there are 291 Democratic delegates up for grabs here in New York when voters head to the polls two weeks from next Tuesday, April 19th. Certainly not everyone who came out to the regional market today was in support of Hillary Clinton. My colleague Alex Priscilla joins us now with more on that part of the story, Alex. Well, Megan, while they were dramatically outnumbered by the number of Hillary Clinton supporters here today at the regional market, still many anti-Hillary Clinton people were out rallying, trying to make their voices heard. And they've told me that in the past they've been successful by changing some people's minds. 
Don't forget to see the movie 13 Hours, folks. It'll tell the true story. Each of these conservative protesters support their own candidate on the Republican side, but they're coming together at the regional market to try and convince Hillary Clinton supporters not to vote for her. First of all, she's anti-military, she's anti-Marine Corps. One of the first things she did when she got in the White House was try to replace Marine Corps guards that she didn't uphold, uh, deem appropriate. She comes to town today and she announced a multi-billion dollar manufacturing or jobs creation program. Who do we believe? Because when she said before that she was going to create jobs, not one job was created. The little guy has to do some good. What makes you assume that? I don't know. Things got heated as people for and against Hillary Clinton argued. Evidence of how contested this presidential election is. We want to know about the emails first off, and then we want to know about Benghazi. You know, no one's ever addressed that. And I, if you've ever seen the movie 13 Hours, she's got a lot to account for. Cracking in New York, cracking in America. Supporters for Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders were also making their voices heard. Well, these Republicans want to sway people away from Hillary Clinton during the general election. Sanders supporters have a more pressing concern. New York's primary is just over two weeks away, and they want to rally support for him as he faces off directly with Hillary Clinton when voters cast their ballots later this month. We need to listen to what he has to say because if we don't, we're just continuing as usual. And, and America's not going to get better as long as the oligarchy controls everything that happens in this country. Megan, some of those protesters say that she was a failure as a first lady secretary of state and she was our state senator representative down in Washington, D.C. Really, the biggest concern that those rallying against her had was her record on jobs. One man who was protesting, he asked me, well, back when she was in the Senate, where did those 200,000 plus jobs go that she promised when she was representing us here in New York? So obviously a lot of uh, emotions as this presidential, he really great keeps moving forward. All right, Alex, thank you. Certainly Hillary Clinton talking a lot about jobs today, along with equal pay for women and the economy. Coming up new at 530 tonight, our Sarah Beth Ackerman talks to voters about which issues will be driving them to the polls for that presidential primary uh, again two weeks from this Tuesday, April 19th. That's the latest here, live at the regional market tonight. Matt, we'll send it back to you. All right, Megan. Uh, Hillary Clinton kicked off her business to Syracuse at the Institute of Technology to participate.